TOA family, what's going on? It's that time. Infocom 2022. Where has time gone? I have no idea. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But guess what? We're excited and we want to see you guys there. Number one, we have great new partnerships with how many? Yes, two great other collaborators, two businesses that we partnered with to bring you guys solutions to many of your customers' needs and wants, right? We want to make their lives easier, and that's what these products do. Let's talk about it. Well, actually, first, when is Infocom? June 8th to June 10th. June 8th is my birthday, by the way, if anybody cares. Uh, but I won't be there, guys. Who will be there? Um, I just saw Jim or Ian up on the screen there. Dan Shore is going to be there. So Ian Weingold, uh, sales manager for the South East Territories, if you guys don't know him. Uh, Jim McGinnis, systems engineer, and Dan Shore, our engineering manager, and more, many more people. Uh, those three right there, great colleagues of mine, great guys to dig into their minds, ask them questions. They're going to be showing you guys what these collaborations are all about, right? Uh, also, we are booth number W3217. We do have a registration code. That should be in the description below. We'll make sure we get it to you guys. Uh, you guys should have gotten emails from us as well, uh, letting you guys know uh, what we're what we're gonna be showing um, some information regarding our booth, who's gonna be there, registration details, whatever. Uh, we'll have some swag there for you guys as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, what what's what are these all about? I mean, it's it's bringing people in the industry together who love what they do, collaborating and making things happen. It's you know la last year's Infocom was a great success. Um, that was the first Infocom, if I could recall, that was back in person, rapid firing. People were more than shocked and surprised how successful it was and how good it was to be back in person. So again, Infocom 2022. Well, what are we going to be showing you guys, right? I'm going to give you guys a little tease on what's to come, okay? Um, we have, well, we started two great collaborations, I'd say within the last two years, give or take, uh, we're pretty much ready to show you guys these two collaborations in action. Uh, number one, our collaboration with Key Digital. Key Digital has been a great, and I kid you not, and I can't stress this enough, uh, shout out to Jonathan Ferry over there. Uh, you know, we got things done, put it that way. La Cambio is our, our baby, <laughs> uh, you know, our pride and joy of this collaboration. What is La Cambio? If you guys haven't seen it, I did a couple podcasts, a couple videos on it. Um, it is a remote hybrid communication and collaboration solution that brings together two companies that do really good things, uh, like our niches, right? What is TOA? We're a great audio company. Well... Uh, we have the Lanubio, which is our, our beam steering array, two-way solution that sounds and picks up audio, uh, pinpoint accuracy based on input, you know, th where the input is in the room, right? It actually automatically steers to that person without you looking for a microphone. Great, great technology. And in comes Key Digital, who offers a PTZ solution with control, right? So control interface into Lanubio, up into the camera, you speak into Lanubio, wherever you are in that room, the camera automatically points in that direction. Beautiful stuff. Uh, just a tease. You guys can see it in action at booth 3217. That's a W3217 on June 8th, first day. Be there, right? Uh, collaboration number two. We have the uh, EverAlert integration that's coming in. Um, this is interfacing with our with our N8000, our VM3000 series, and many more. It is a ever expanding global global maybe isn't the right word, but it's it's massive, right? It's massive. Uh, focuses around mass communication, but can do much much more, including a digital time clock system. Uh, that replaces the need for traditional analog clocks and gives you guys these nice flat panel displays, something not as large as this, but you can interface to a display 
as large as this and put up anything you want. It could be an announcement to a big sports game, uh, the prom, whatever. And it can also more importantly serve as a tool to display emergency evacuation notifications, right? Uh, so they cover the visuals, they cover the interface, the cloud system, their in-cloud system, which which I tested out is fantastic, by the way. I love these all-in-one solutions that you can access from anywhere in the world, right? You have full control in one GUI, boom, everything's done. Um, yeah, mobile devices, laptops, tablets, whatever. You know, As long as you have a network connection, you can get into the system and make an announcement or make some kind of trigger or whatever. There's, again, the three guys I mentioned previously can show you what this thing can do. It is super duper powerful. It's super scalable, super flexible. So I mentioned the 8000 uh, intercom series, the VM3000 mass notification series. Uh, it can it could go into any of our products, really. As long as we get audio and, and a trigger, we can make it happen, right? Um, so again, a lot to talk about there. Uh, Jim, Ian, and Dan will be at the show. If you guys want more questions, uh, or if you have more questions, they'll have answers, right? <laughs> of course. And then finally, we have our own internal uh, work of art. You know, our 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 our. This is something uh, where the industry is going, and that's uh, audio over IP, right? Everything running over uh, network, including power, data, whatever. One cable run, boom, you're good to go, right? So we announced or we introduced our IP A1 SC15 to the market. That is our IP horn speaker. There are those guys right there. Missing Jim though. IP horn speaker, uh, which great feedback, super simple, easy solution. PoE powered, uh, can can handle triggers from security, uh, VMS systems, video management systems, um, plug and play essentially, right? You just pop in the PoE, you programmed in the VMS and you're good to go. Uh, IP it up, boom. And people love it. People love it. It does 15 watts at full PoE power. And what what have we done? Well, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five more SKUs to that lineup. All IP-based speakers with amplifiers built in. Uh, two interfaces, I believe, or one interface that we'll be showing off as well. And, uh, you know, a cool little bridge solution. Um, yeah, we're, that's audio over IP. It's where it's at. And it's it's a beautiful thing flexibility, ease of use, you know, easy for the integrators, easy to maintain, easy to manage, and more importantly, um, great performance for the end user, um, great reliability, you know, it, the list goes on and on. Audio over IP, beautiful. There's Dan, he'll be there. And and guys, that those are our three main categories that we're gonna be, you know, showing, showing off at, at Infocom. And we're gonna keep it simple. We don't wanna overwhelm you guys. So the idea is to come in, come into our booth, let's talk, let's have a conversation, let's get you guys a solution. That's why we're doing this. Let's make it easier on everybody else, you know, and better for the end user, better for your customers, better for your clients. Love it. Absolutely love it. So June 8th to June 12th, nope, June 8th to June 10th, booth W3217. Again, guys, I'm Eric Huber, technical editor at TOA Electronics. We look forward to seeing you guys there we can't wait we cannot wait to show you guys what we've been working on so once again guys thank you for joining we'll see you at infocom 2022 take care